Ja. We play. Uh, we play uh, Tuesday. You all have. We're gonna play Tuesday again. This doesn't stop. <laughs> what was your uh, assessment of the performance overall? In the I think it was a good performance um, overall. Like you say, overall in all moments of the game, in all the circumstances of the game. When you have the ball, we don't have the ball. You have to be cautious and take knowing, realizing what you have. Our opponent is the best team, is the champions of the Premier League, so we have to stick together, cover, reduce the space, always balance, but under a shape, under a, uh, the tasks of the player, rules, that gives you order, that gives you safety and confidence then to play. So when you have the ball, we create chances, we create chances, we, we could, we play good football, so it was a good game of football. Um, if there's a but, it's always a but. After we we score, we should manage better these couple of minutes. We lose a couple of of first first passes after we recover the ball that put Man City again in, in control of the game. So it's a growing process. Yeah, one more game, one more tool to work on it and to improve for next week. You know, you, you, you pressed high and you pressed very, very well and that looks like one way of playing against Manchester City. But is it more difficult than than it looks? It's more difficult, of course, but this is the way we 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 shape ourselves to to try and recover the ball. When when you have um, better quality players in front of you, it makes your your task harder. It requires more balance, more patience, more all this organization. Um, but this is the way we we work. Is the way we we approach to uh, every opponent. We we try to engage our wingers with the with the center half. So. That enables to keep us high in the pitch. Yeah, can you take can you take a lot of confidence from this performance for the season in the Premier League that you, you can adapt and play well this long? Mm, um, all the confidence that we acquire comes from the way you perform. So honestly, I think we are improving game by game since the first game at home at Everton, Leicester. Uh, we already talk about that game uh, today again. And this is the confidence that you want to to build, and but the, for me, honestly, and for the boys, is the the way you train is the way you have to play. Doesn't make sense the other way. Talking about your training, what are you doing in training? Because I've heard stories that the players <laughs> are working a lot of hours in training. So, who tells you that? We stay a lot of time together. We stay a lot of time together. We what, what we arrive at nine o'clock, then we train, then we have lunch, then the boys go out three o'clock, but we don't do nothing. There's no mystery. We train. We put you together for most most players go home at half past twelve. Is one of the things that we want to, is to 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 eat together. We have a nutritionist. We have to give him work. <laughs> It felt, you know, like there was a lot of belief, not just from the players, but from, from the support, the whole club. It feels like a real sense of when you when you play with champions, it felt like everyone here believed you could win that game. That important. It, I think um, this belief, this uh, this has to do with the, of the way we create the base last season, the way we we handled the, the the competition last season, especially at home. Home factor is. Is, the, is, is one of the most important things. And this belief comes um, of, of the, what would the fans see and what we want. We want to create a team, we want to build something that uh, is able to adapt, to don't change, create an identity. An identity is going to be to every Wolves player, every Wolves coach and every Wolves fan. An identity, when you have something to hold on to, no matter who, who comes to Molino. Uh, maybe this is trying to be, but it's not, it's honestly, we want, we did it last season, so our big challenge is to do it again, do it again, over and over the weeks, Tuesday, Saturday, sometimes the results come, 
I hope we still have that support. Sometimes the result won't come. Again, the support, so it's everybody involved, not only who works in Compton, every people in the club, the city of Overhampton must be engaged with the team, try to create something together. You know, you, you created some chances, but would, would it be fair to say that the, the goal was perhaps slightly fortunate in the way that it came off uh, with his arm? Yeah, last week happened, happened against us. So this is football. This is what we, we have to be prepared for is how you react from that situation. You score, it doesn't matter how you score. The referee is there to judge. You have to just be ready. You get the goal, how you react to that. Don't think it was luck, unlucky. No, focus on your tasks. Be prepared for the next action, minute by minute. This is how we work, this is how we want to be. Always focus on the game. Um, deflections happens in football. It's finished. Mm -hmm. Last season, Ederson signed for Manchester City and made a huge difference to them an improvement. You're a goalkeeper. Um, we can talk a bit about him, about just how good he is after today's performance. Rui. Yeah. He did well. It's his job. It's his job. He's a goalkeeper. Ederson did well also. He was my player in Rio Ave. I play at. at uh, so goalkeepers are there to to stop balls from going inside. If they do it pretty fantastic, if they do it simple, fantastic. This is the job. Every player in the task, yeah, every player in the squad has a task. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes,